Hello there and welcome to part two of our text sharing, uh, advanced text sharing tutorial and uh, we are continuing with our uh, training series and uh, we left off baking uh, this curvature map. You can see uh, the small details are the sharpness of the different edges we have uh, already baked in into our curvature map. We're going to use these to drive uh, the different parts of uh, the kind of scratch areas of the texture like we have here in Substance Painter. Uh, you can see uh, this is what we, they were using. Uh, let me see if I can, if I disable this. Okay, I think, okay, so I have different materials uh, that are using the curvature map. So you can see, I think it uh, disabled it for this object here. So you see, when I remove uh, the curvature, uh, you see those details are those. Let me select uh, what material was this? I think it's this here. Yeah, so. If I go into this and uh, disable uh, the curvature map, so this is it here. And uh, disable the curvature map. You see, I lose all of, all of those details because uh, the curvature map is what is used uh, to calculate uh, those edges, sharp corners, and uh, things like that. Uh, so we have baked this curvature map. Uh, so the, th the other thing I, I, ha I, I didn't mention uh, last time is that uh, I think I mentioned it, but I didn't uh, show it to you exactly. But uh, uh, so when you're baking uh, the curvature map, make sure that uh, you have enough resolution on your mesh. And uh, if, say, we have a cube here, I'll, I'll give it the same material that we have for this. So I think it's this. Let me create a, a smart UV projection for faster UVs here. Uh, we're going to bake using the same setup we have here. And uh, if we go to cycles right now and preview this, let me just give it a bit of contrast. can see that I, I can see the sharpness on this object because it has a it has enough resolution on those corners but I don't see anything here uh, that's because uh, this this mesh here doesn't really have a lot of uh, polygons to support uh, those sharp edges uh, to have uh, the point means uh, render them as sharp edges so what you can do is add a bevel modifier let me give it a segment of two. Uh, let's preview it in cycles because it doesn't render any easy. So you, you can see every time I increase the segments, I'm increasing the supporting uh, edge loops. Uh, the, I'm, I'm increasing support for those edge loops, uh, which makes it, uh, which makes uh, the point names have enough polygons to render out uh, those uh, areas. So if I reduce the size here you can see how that works so you may want to use the bevel modifier or just add in those polygons manually uh, by just adding a, a loop supporting loops around uh, those corners uh, that you see so if we go back to this you can see on these three edges that we have added supporting loops, uh, we can see uh, the sharp areas, but on these, uh, we don't. Uh, so yeah, 